Oh my god, that is so messed up. Don Lafario, how did he find time travel? Why did the skin tone go? Why is he more pudgy? I mean, he, he looked more... Oh, himself here, he's walking slowly. Walking really slowly. But compare him here to The Sims 3, they're so different. And compare The Sims 2. The Sims 3 is rubbish compared to The Sims 2 version. Hi guys, hope you enjoyed today's episode. Make sure you give it a like if you enjoyed it. Give it a favourite also. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. That'll make my day. And I'll see you later. Oh, you know, I'm really surprised that all these gizmos are selling like hotcakes. I'm contemplating on if we should keep the chair store or just sell random bits and bobs. I mean, we're almost at 10 grand. We really need to be around 90 grand to get the pleasant house. It's a good starting point, I guess, but we needed to keep our inventory fully stocked with all these goodies. And soon we should really start to uh, expand the store. Make it a little bigger. Hi guys, my name is Rachel and welcome to today's episode of The Sims 4 Get to Work featuring the Pleasant Family. Uh, episode 15. Yep, I need to make a start on recording a few more episodes because I am empty of Pleasant episodes. And today... Uh, I am, yes, contemplating about the chairs. I forgot to call them toilets for a second. <laughs> Um, I'm contemplating about them. Um, if the the little gizmos that we find are selling a lot more better than the chairs, then realistically, if we want to earn money to build up the store to sell all this random rubbish, and that's my laptop fan. If you can hear it, um, I think we. Or better off if we did that. Um, I really want to, as you've heard in the introduction, that I want to expand the store. Um, I'm not sure what exactly. Um, maybe we could keep the chairs and put them in their own little area. So if anyone wants to go and buy a chair for, I don't know, for what any reason, they can do so. Go in our little little area and um, buy the chair if they wish. Um, that's my plan, I think, today. If we do have enough, though, if we do have enough, I don't want to make false promises if I can't do it. But we also need to, like, finish off the decoration as well. Because the, the, the floor behind the counter, it's still, you know, concrete. And um, the toilet area, it's still a bit of toilet, so we really need to focus on sorting those little bits out before we uh, make a huge... Uh, store improvement. Uh, yeah. Keep an eye on our little garden. Initially I was going to sell all these fruits and stuff in our uh, in the inventory area. But again, for some reason Sims like to... Uh, oh, it's Lucy outside. <laughs> some, uh, some reason that our, that our Sims... Uh, some reason sims like to spend more on a product so um i think i covered it before uh you know uh we've been selling a few tomatoes and uh mary sue's on her way got work today we've been selling a few tomatoes uh, sims like to purchase them around 14 simoleons we could increase the price for that but it may be a bit more tedious for them to purchase it so we got to be careful around there Wait, 14 simoleons is a bit much for a tomato. <laughs> I was like, I, I've seen a bunch of tomatoes for around 50p in my local store. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, this, this is a sim. The currency is totally different. Speaking of sims, new town. New town, we'll get to that in a bit. Uh, I'll be updating my game at some point, so in the next episode, we should see the new town. Quite the, quite finished just in time with my little block. Right, it's epic. Um, 
So you keep at uh, selling our little fruits. We only got fruit, haven't we? Because we've got tomatoes and lemons. Spinach, I think. We've got spinach somewhere. I can't remember where I got it. Probably out and around in the world. Somewhere. Ah, uh, yes. Um, hmm. Daniel's still in bed. He needs to go to the toilet and have some food before he goes to the store. The time is nine o'clock in the morning and Kaylin is arriving to the door. Not bothering with her anymore. That story's got boring already because, yeah. I'd change my outcome in doing this. Get the house. That's what we need to do. And if Mary Sue gets her job to the top, then that's all good. But we need to get the house. We're not going to stop when she's... Oh, our store is still very grey and horrible. <laughs> oh, fantastic little grey box. But yeah, she does manage to get to the top of her career when we not got to the house. And we'll still continue with it. Still continue with it. Um, I've also... Oh, shit. oh, goodness gracious, my fan is going insane. Why are you going insane? <laughs> there is nothing happening apart from the video that is playing. It's weird. Um, I hope it's not too loud. <laughs> it doesn't usually do that. Uh, Marisu is off to work. And uh, Daniel... Fan, shut up. There's nothing blocking you. Study group. Lilith is struggling to struggling a couple of subjects. There is a study group that meets every day during a, a pre during free period. Okay. Uh, what's a good what good is study group? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> I just don't think Lilith will go to that. It's not really in the educational. Not the uh, uh, educational type person. Uh, yes. Um, she's got a D already. Apparently in The Sims 2, if you go to a D or below, there's more con there's some sort of consequences. I've already got a child sim who's on a C minus, and I can't remember what happens after that. That sink is broken. I wish my fan would shut up already. <laughs> I'm not plugged into anything. I was defragmenting my disc during the morning not when I was asleep. It took so long. It took so, so long. Before I went to bed, it was around past nine. And I think 67% done. Once I woke up, it finishes stuff. And then all of the drives that are on the computer said the 0% fragmented. But he wasn't doing anything else, so I assume that's alright. It's working. I'm not turning it off. Well, I should have a standby, because I randomly woke up at 7 o'clock this morning. 7 o'clock in the morning this morning. I went and checked. It done its thing. Ooh, look at that lag. <laughs> look at that lag spark. I don't know where that come from. It doesn't usually lag that much. That's because I'm speeding up. I'm a plum. <laughs> Um, yeah, well, what did I say? Um, yeah, initially I was uh, going to do a disk cleanup because my computer started to freeze at odd times. I was playing Transport Tycoon on my web, on my, on Chrome. There we go. And it froze up in random moments. Oh my goodness, why are you still screaming at me? Talking to the fans still. There's nothing affecting you. Wow. Um, so, I was playing Transport Tycoon and it just messed up. And uh, thought, well, drives got full, I saw that out. Hey, it took around 10 minutes to clean up, and I was told that I should defrag. Part of me wishes I didn't do it. Because I've not really seen a great deal of change. It still works the way as it before I defragged it, so it seems like a bit of a waste of time, actually. In my opinion, see, if I didn't do it, nothing happens. If I did do it, nothing happens. <laughs> oh, 
Unfortunately, it was the first time I actually did it since I got my laptop. And my laptop is three years old. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, at least it's done. And it's did its thing. So, I used to turn it off by standby and it's still working fine. I really have no idea why it's going so loud. It's got nothing to be loud about. <laughs> I'm glad I can still get the video going without going back and losing my point. Uh, but anyway, where was I? Um, oh, forget it. <laughs> Let's have a look what's happening right here on the video and then we can talk about the new town that's coming out sometime. Mm, should be... When this video goes out, it should be this week. Because when I'm recording it, it was last week. And they said it was coming out next week. <laughs> um, so, yeah, talk about that in a second. Let's see. Everyone is crowding around the goodies table once again. Should keep an eye on that and see what we can do from there. How much money we've got in the bank we have. Ooh, achievement. Whimsical. Complete 100 whims across all of all sims. H have they done that? How? Is it, does that total up? Do all these achievements? Alright, I'm gonna ask you, do all these achievements in the game total up? I hear a mouth. Do total, total up throughout the whole game itself or the selected save you're playing? Because I, honestly, I have to say, I have not played, I have not accomplished 100 whims with the two households that I'm playing right here. The two households in my let's play save are the pleasant and the burbs. Of course I have a few sims knocking around from my uh, Cass recreation videos but maybe I'll put them in other worlds, I don't know. But the only households that I play are those two and I don't often do their whims because they're, they're not really going to benefit me in the actual video of <laughs> what I want to achieve. I mean, what I want to achieve is get to 90 or, or 100 grand to move out to the Pleasant House and that's it. I mean, what the, the whims are not going to do anything on my part, so there's no use. And then as for the burbs, they're not going to do any use because I want them to reach the top of um, their business career. Business career. <laughs> their um, get to work careers. So, useless. And I've yet to see a let's play who focuses on the whims. So I don't know how that's going to go. Maybe to a thousand points or something. That would be interesting. But it needs a good backstory after that. Because when I started up this channel, I needed a good story to drive the series going or it's going to go a bit dry. I mean, remember when I was talking about well, when we were playing Daniel making all the woohoo and all that stuff? I felt that was going to get really boring and, and yeah, I was bored with doing it and if I was getting bored with Daniel doing all the woohoo then I'm not going to find it fun and if I'm not going to find it fun it's not going to project to you I'm going to feel it being fun. So I stopped doing that and doing the store and you know, kicking off with the uh, money. Um, hopefully we'll get the 10 grand today. Hopefully. Um, then we can settle down on looking at, at a meter 90 grand. And finally get that house. That house is 90 grand. It's still on the gallery, I believe. Because I've not done out to it. Hmm. Wow, it's still going. <laughs> of course. Maids. <laughs> Maids on business lots. Now, shame though, because I have no idea what's making the stink. Ooh, 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 bearded hair man. He's got the chair, the orange chair. Good for you. You know. Wait, I'm not... That tomato costs three simoleons and all these sims are buying it for 14. 
My goodness, that's even a bit too expensive for one tomato, if I'm going to be honest. Three simoleons for a tomato, oh my days. I'm ripping these poor people off. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious me, I don't even care. It's their money. Malcolm is dissing my chair. That chair is so legit, what are you on about? Honestly. You know... Hmm. No, wait, I had a story about Malcolm. If I have time, I'll talk about that, if I remember it. So this new town we're gonna get this week, uh, a future, uh, uh, new town, New Crest, I think. New Crest? New Crest? <laughs> I can't pronounce it. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna call it New Crest. It's a town full of empty lots, I think 15. 15-ish. Ooh. Um, that is fantastic. Oh, you have, you, you. The amount of times I complain that we need more space and we're finally getting more space in this game. Oh, I struggle finding a perfect spot for the Pleasant House. It's so small, these lots. Really, they are. I needed a bigger space to just plop a house down. And finally, hopefully we'll get some bigger lots in Newcrest. Um, so far, from the video at the, uh, the trailer that I've seen the other day, it's very empty. But that's the whole point. It's an empty world where you can just, you know, build whatever you want in it. And without feeling, you know, stressed to, I got a hiccup, stressed to um, get rid of all the already pre-built houses. And did you know, did you know that Newcrest is uh, the first uh, Sims town to not feature any pre-built houses since The Sims 1? There you go. Mmm, I got it off the Wikipedia the other day. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, speaking of Sims 1, I've still not installed Mickey Magic. <laughs> it's been sitting on my table for... Uh, since I got it, it's been months. I can't remember when I got it. Probably January. Oh, she's very lonely. Angela's lonely. She needs to take care of herself. So she can sort herself out a bit more quicker. Jeffrey has just purchased that tomato. 14 smelly as well. You've just been ripped off. Boom. And our little counter is slowly being empty and so is our goodie table. Hmm. New crest. I am going to be excited for that. Um. Um, I am gonna make. I am excited for that. I am. I am happy about it. I am. Um, so in the next episode, we shall have an adventure around there. Hopefully, <laughs> I don't know when it will come out. This week, ah, oh, future. Um, but hopefully soon. Probably Monday. Probably. Um. I still, still need to make some videos for the week when I'm going on holiday. Um, <laughs> I'm thinking about doing a Simlish video. Um, I can try and sort that out today if I have enough time. Battery. And we'll see how that goes actually. Um it would be fun to do that. I'm not making any promises. <laughs> I'm so limited to time. Um Ah the eight hour chair looking at lady and Dina Caliente. I wonder what she's buying. She's got a tomato. Everyone likes the tomatoes here. Everyone likes the tomatoes. T -t 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 tomatoes. Hmm. I just wonder how you can make them stop yakking all day. They just keep talking and not doing anything. Silly. 
Ah, Nygaard. Or Katrina, as they make her name now. It's so annoying. It's so annoying. Ew, I, I, I could. Hmm. I could. Fan, shut up. I could change her name. And I could recreate it for a video. I could recreate the whole Caliente household. Make them what they look like in The Sims 2. That would be cool. I think I've already done that. I've already recreated some Sims. Yeah. We'll see how that goes. See how that oh. Don Lafario has appeared. <laughs> wonder what he's going to get today. I wonder what he wants. I wonder what, I wonder what, I wonder, wonder, wonder what. Uh, what, what are we picking up? Moving the, the stuff from there to the table. So we've got a bit more space there. Um, yeah, it looks good. We've got 249 simoleons in the bank. We fit that there. We're going to fit it there. Excellent. And we have 295 business perks. Outgoing costs we spent today was 80 simoleons. Ooh. And our net profit, uh, the money that we got today was 158. Hmm. Not bad. Not bad, really. Despite that, we're not really, you know, putting any money forward to our little gizmos here. I lay the chairs. All right, 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 all right. Get rid of those because we don't need to restock for something that was free out in the wild, and we could just randomly get when we want them. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right, all right, all right, all right. Nina Caliente is here. Hmm. 210. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, oh, what else now? I've lost it. I was going to talk about Malcolm, wasn't I? <laughs> oh, I, I, I am half asleep. I've been busy. <laughs> um, okay. I'm, I'm, uh, my mind is going. My mind is going away. Uh, Malcolm. Malcolm Langrub. I found a family tree of the Malcolm of the Langrub. Family. Um, apparently, the Malcolm that we see in the game now isn't the one from The Sims 2. I thought it would have been, but silly. Apparently, it's the Malcolm from the console version. Um, oh, how can I describe? Um, It's weird. I think. Why would you name a distant relation the same as another one? It's really confusing. Because in The Sims 3 Store Town, Roaring Heights, I never got it because. Um, there is an elderly Malcolm Lingrab there. He is a ghost. Um, he is one of the oldest Lang Malcolm Langrabs in the series already. But it still doesn't feel chemical to me. It still doesn't feel you know it seems free itself, it doesn't feel canical. Canonical. Oh god. I'm gonna go on for a giant rant about this. Riverview Oh my god, that is so messed up. Don Lafario, how did he find time travel? Why did the skin tone go? Why is he more pudgy? I mean, he, he looked more, oh, himself here. He's walking slowly, walking really slowly, but Compare him here to The Sims 3, they're so different, and compare The Sims 2. The Sims 3 is rubbish compared to The Sims 2 version. Really, I could rant all day about it. Really. I'm talking about this in the pre-made Sim perspective. 
Honestly, the Caliente sisters, they were so awful. And who was this? This, 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 this Lucia Sim. She has no part in the Caliente story at all. What is that all about? I mean, they don't, the sisters don't dress as they intend to be. They don't here, but I know they're kind of representing as a young adult version before, you know, the Sims 2 adventures panned out. But why is Nygaard looking the way she is here? If you, if you look in the Caliente family history pictures, Nygaard does not look like how Katrina looks like right here. I mean, if... Oh god. Nygaard was an adult when the Caliente sisters were children. She's an adult here, but... Nina and Dina are young adults. So, realistically, Nygaard should be an elder. And why would she go off with younger men? Why? And why in the world with Don Lothario? Him. The... Why? <laughs> Everyone knows the story of Don Lothario. Oh, look at Lucy's here. Hello, Lucy. Anyway, why? I always keep saying Cassandra is a dup for almost marrying Don. She's the biggest dup and she thinks she could change him, but no. You can't change Don Lothario and his, his ways. I mean, I would not like him as a person, but as a character, he's hilarious, but... The way they represented him and all other returning premates in The Sims 3, they just didn't care! Oh my god, the dreamers though. The dreamers, Darren Dreamer and uh, 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 Darlene McLappin. They did really well. I'm gonna hands down, they did well on those two. And I got really obsessed with them. And got so far. I mean, not too far. Maybe three or four generations. But not like The Sims 2! <laughs> not like The Sims 2! We could be here all day if I named you all the Sims that took part after Cassandra and Darren's era. I've brought Darlene back from the grave and she's had uh, three other kids. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so far, um, if we addressed Cassandra's era as the first one, uh, the second one, third. so really, what well, I'm, I'm on the third, no, fourth, fifth generation, <laughs> so many babies, <laughs> so many babies, oh, um. Say I was ranting about the Sims. <laughs> Have I done? Have I done? I've not been. I've been talking about new towns and ranting about the Sims Three. Let's see. Let's see how I'm doing. Yeah, I call it a quits. <laughs> oh, it's gone so quickly. Twenty-seven minutes. Time goes by so fast. I could rant about the Sims Three and their awful recreations of pre-maids. Really. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Um, did not manage to earn a great deal to, you know, improve the store, but hopefully next time I will. Hopefully. And we will adventure in a new town known as New Crest. But if you liked today's episode, make sure you give it a like. If you really, really liked it, give it a favourite. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. That will make my day absolutely it will. And maybe my laptop will stop yelling in the next episode. <laughs> it's calmed down a little bit now. But anyway, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you Wednesday. If you watch all my videos. If not, I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.